Okay, so part two of things I were I wish I could tell my younger self. Um, this bronzer is from M and S, and my blush is made by Mitchell Peach Sugar. Okay, so the next thing I wish I could tell myself would be um, always trust your gut instincts, especially about people. Do not let people like what's the word control you and make you like go senseless almost if you have a gut instinct about someone nine times out of ten you are correct stay well away honestly just stay well away this is a mistake i made a lot of times and i don't know why just trust your gut instinct <laughs> honestly so the next thing i would tell myself is stay positive all the time um when you're young it's hard to realize that your negativity being around other people changes other people's moods as well like i know it sounds really selfish but with your negativity you could literally bring someone else who is positive right the way down to your level Try and stay as positive as you can, honestly. Trust me with that. Positivity is the best thing, the best thing ever. If you stay positive, your life would be so much more happier. So much more happier. Next thing I wish I could tell myself would be, do not let people peer pressure you. Do not let it happen. Um, if it's drugs, if it's drinking, don't do it. If you know that you ain't going to be able to handle it, and in fact, if you don't want to do it and you've already said no, do not then go and do it because you feel pressured. Don't do it. And also, don't be the one peer pressuring either. But being on both sides is not, not good at all. Just, I don't know. I think... If it wasn't for peer pressure, I wouldn't have done done a lot of things that I did do. And although I know it's easy blaming other people, when you're in school, people do just, even if it's unintentional, they do just pressure you into doing things. And like they egg you on and stuff like that, which is just not helpful. But obviously you're a kid. Like that's what you do. Do you know what I mean? But try and avoid avoid it as much as you can so the next thing i wish i could tell myself would be wait guys look at this palette how stunning it's by makeup revolution okay so the next thing i'll tell myself is do not be embarrassed by woman things let me try and break this down for you so i was always embarrassed of like having my periods, speaking about periods, speaking about doing the deed, all that kind of stuff. But why? It's all natural. Having the deed is natural. Having a period is natural. People need to speak about it. I think personally, people need to think, speak about it more often to make it more normalised so it isn't so awkward when people bring it up. So it's then just like a casual conversation rather than people feeling embarrassed by it. If that makes sense. But yeah, when I look back now, I'm like, really, was I really embarrassed of my bloody period? Come on. Okay, this next one may be really controversial, but I wish I could tell myself to accept help, to accept therapy, to accept doctor's appointments. I had therapy for two years after avoiding it for so, 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 so long and saying no because it was embarrassing and because none of my other friends had it, blah, 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 blah. Although it didn't, like, what's the word? It didn't cure me. It made me feel so much better. Like, having someone to talk to that you know isn't going to judge you, that you know, like, understands how you're feeling because they've had people speak about it before, do you know what I mean? Someone who knows the right things to say 
and I know it may seem embarrassing but getting therapy when you're older and an adult is way more embarrassing take it whilst you're young take it whilst it's free <laughs> no I'm joking I'm joking I'm just joking <laughs> And I know before any of you come for me in the comments, not all therapy is free. Mine was, so yeah, have that. Okay, so next one is always protect people that are being bullied. Always, always, always. When I was younger, I used to get embarrassed that my friends would like pick on me and stuff um, because I would help the person being bullied. Um, so I, I, I never really done it unless my friends weren't around me. However, you put yourself in that situation, you sit there and you, you think, imagine if that was you, put yourself in their shoes just for a minute and think, hmm, no one deserves to be bullied. Nobody, especially not in sec secondary school. It's so cruel. It's so rough. Do not sit there and watch someone be bullied. Do something about it. Help them. Be kind. Spread kindness. Because kindness costs nothing. Okay, so the next thing I'll tell myself is... Stop holding grudges. Just let it go. Life is way too short for grudges. Believe me. This is the thing, life is precious, we need to value it more. I feel like our generation and when we're kids, you just don't value your life enough, enough sorry. And then you grow up and you have your own child and then life. Things go so fast and you just don't value it enough when you're a child. And now it's too late to value it because it's going boom, boom, boom. It's literally going so fast. Okay, so the next thing I would tell myself would be um, don't choose spending time over, spending time with your friends, sorry, over spending time with your family. Spending time with your family is so much more important. You don't know what is happening, what is going to happen around the corner. Family time means everything to people. Always, always, always choose spending time with your family over anything. Trust me on that. Because I never used to, and now I regret it. Family time is way more special than spending time with friends. Because you can spend time with your friends any day. You can't see your family all the time. Well, I don't know if you can or not, but... Especially because most of mine live so far away. It's not easy going to see them. Okay, so the next thing I would tell myself would be stop being the goddamn class clown in school and actually concentrate. I wish I concentrated. I wish I stayed at school. I wish I had my GCSEs. Because now... I'm going to spend a life of regretting it. And yes, I know people are going to come for me in the comments and say, well, you can retake it. But if I had done it the first time, I wouldn't be sitting here in this position, would I? <laughs> okay, so the final thing that I would tell myself would be to take some time for myself to heal. If I've gone through something horrific, to heal. Take some time to heal or even... I don't even need to go through anything. I could have a bad day. Go do some self-care. De-stress yourself. Have a bath. Put some bath salts in. Put some bubbles in. Make yourself feel okay. Because at the end of the day, it's only you who's got your own back.